What's up everybody? Welcome back to JR Sneaker Show. Today I got something very cool for you. These are known as the reverse breads. So these retailed uh, about, a, about a year ago, came out, and these are one of those sneakers that, that they sold out in other places, they sat in other places, but they eventually sold out. Right now you can get them for about retail, um, but they're starting to go up. And these are one of those pairs that I'm glad I was able to get my hands on. And I got them for retail, super underrated, but I never hesitated to get them. So anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the sneaker. And uh, I got it right here. So it comes in this Jordan 12 box right here. So right here it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever. So, and this is a Jordan 12 box right here. You can see I was able to get my hands on the last pair from Nice Kicks. And these are in a size 10 and a half. I can do a 10, a uh, 10 and a half. Um, 10's my normal size, but I don't mind going up half a size for uh, a sneaker in some cases. So, and then you got right here, this is the Jordan 12 box, OG box that we all came to love. So. This is one of those iconic boxes that you just, you saw sitting in the in the closet. I, I, when I was growing up, you know, I used to see my, my cousin, he always had his Jordan boxes up on the top of the closet. And you already know, just looking up there is like, man, those are nice, whatever is in there. So, all right, let's take a look right here. Woo, man, these are clean. These are nice, these are nice. So I'm gonna hit you with that shoe, ya right there put this other pair down and you can see right here so check that out these are actually reverse breads and these are look they got the black bottoms right there with the carbon fiber shank they got the red jump man the red 23 herringbone traction right there these do have the zoom air the jordan 12 is one of the most comfortable jordans ever period period so, and you can see these are really nice suede right there. It's like a really furry, furry, furry suede. So, and then you see the back tab right there. It says uh, 23 right there on the heel. And then it says Jordan. And then right there, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. And then you got your red uh, square right there with the, with the black jump man. And then um, right there, the tongue. These came with black laces. And on top of that, the other sneaker, the other Jordan 12 came with a pair of uh, red laces. So these actually came with two pairs of laces, which you don't see that on a Jordan 12. Like every Jordan, I don't think I've ever seen Jordan 12 come with a second set of laces. So red, black, I personally, would go with the red but i would not go with this red because it's like a i don't know it's like a different red so i don't know a lot of people hated on this sneaker right here just because uh they said that it had different multiple color reds and so i'm gonna get right into that real quick so this red right here is like a lighter shade of red and then you got your your red right there on the heel and a lot of people that was the reason these sat people didn't these originally came out and people were talking about them um and then they ended up not going after them like let's like, see do i got my uh my other breads where are they oh they're right here so you know a lot of people ended up didn't go after these because that different color red and you can see how it pops right there you know but i mean i don't mind it and the thing is it's like with a lot of sneakers there's the, that normal tab right there doesn't always match that color. I mean, that one's pretty good. Um, let's see. You get this guy right here and the black, you can see it's a different black. So, I mean, I don't know. There's there's different shades of, of different, like even that white is a little, little, little lighter shade, but man, I don't mind. I really don't mind it. I think, uh, so let me show you for example right here. This is the uh, the bread, uh, no not the bread, these are the flu game 
Jordan 12s um, that re released back in uh, 2016, I think it was. And you can see um, the, the, the different reds are, they're pretty, I mean, they're right there too. So you got that red right there, which is different than this red and different from that red. So even on the, on this, these breads, they had different reds, you see? So you got the different red up here, different red up here, but this red is really close to the red on the flu game 2016. So, and then this red right here is close to the, the bottom of these guys right here. So I, I don't mind. Uh, personally, I, I think, you know, that's getting a little too nitpicky, but I mean, to, to each its own, right? Um, I, I, I think these are awesome. I love the black bottoms. I really do. I just, when it comes to sneakers, you know, keeping them clean. I mean like that, I know it's the bottom of your sneakers, right? But that, that just irritates me right there. You seen how they got dirt on the bottom right there on this, um, this original blue game 12. So this is a, let, let, let me put them together so you can kind of see the comparison. So this is the original flu game 12 and this is the uh, reverse flu game 12. And you can see what they did is they just flipped everything. So right here on the side panel where you got your reptile print, they just did a uh, red on this one, black on this one, black on the bottom right there. And they just literally just flipped everything. This would have been awesome. Let's see, cause this is, this should have been red and yeah i think if they would have put these bottom reds right there they would have they would have nailed it so got a little sloppy got a little lazy they didn't do these red on the bottom and then the carbon fiber this is a lighter shade and you got a darker color but man if they would have done this one red on the bottom whoo good night that would have been it so you can see these are men's ten and a half and then i got the jump man down there in the bottom these are ds i have not worn these yet um i can't wait to wear these i'm actually gonna wear these tomorrow so that's why i wanted to do a review on these and go ahead and do an unboxing so i am also gonna do and you see it's got the black eyelids right there so this pair right here super slept on still can get it for about retail and uh this is just one of those iconic uh colorways to where this could have been this could have been a OG colorway. I mean, I could have seen, I could see Jordan wearing this color right here. So why they didn't come out with an all red? I mean, they come up with these, these are predominantly red. Uh, but I mean, looking down at it, that's what you see right there. So I am going to go ahead and unlace this one. I actually ordered a pair of laces off of a Amazon. Uh, from these people right here um, so it's called a uh, Wi-Fi and laces and um, why why find something like that and uh, I actually found them on Amazon and they were like seven dollars six bucks but they're actually um, they're like a leather lace they're uh, they're like the wax laces and they really got really close closer than than that in my opinion so i'm gonna do a lace swap and i'm gonna see what the laces look like on these because me personally i like to have my jordans have the uh whatever the color of the tongue is that's what color i like to have my lace so for example like on the obsidians back here the or what were these the indigos they come out and i just did a review on these so if you haven't these are ds um if you haven't seen that go back and take a look at my video but i reviewed these these uh indigos right here and one thing i forgot to mention on that video is that these don't have the uh the the reptile print on the side it's just smooth leather right there so right there um but anyway so you see how they did the same color lace right there and then you can see back here on the obsidians how they use the white laces right there which i'm gonna go i'm gonna swap these out as well for a pair of blue laces and i'll do another i'll do another video on that one but as you can see, I like to have, I mean, these are the Jordan 12 wings right here. DS, I haven't worn these yet, but um, you can see they, uh, they have the same color. Uh, 
And these are cool because these are like a blackout right there. So they, they're, that's awesome. I gotta wear that pair one day. So. All right, well, um, let's get right into it. I'm gonna do a, uh, a lace swap on these and then show you what they look like, all right? All right, so I got them all laced up. Here we go. This is what they look like with the new laces. And then here's the, uh, the ones with the, with the black laces. So I, uh, and, and then I personally like to lace mine, um, uh, going with the lines of the, of the sneaker. You see how these sneakers have these, uh, these lines right here. So I just think personally it looks better straight laced, uh, versus zigzag like that. And so that's how normally I lace all my Jordan 12s. But, um, I mean, that that's just how I like it. And if you do like it this way, then go ahead. I did a video a while back. It's called uh, The Cleanest Way to Lace Your Jordan 12s. And so I'll, I'll actually throw that video in the link in this description. But the reason I like doing that is because you can actually look down. And if you have them set right, you can actually see like the two, three and all that. And um, it looks really good on feet. And I just think it, it it just goes super clean uh with the way this sneaker was designed. And back in the back in the early 90s, I mean that's a lot of that's how we uh laced a lot of our shoes. Um we used to just put them straight lace and I you know I played around with it on this pair and I just think that it looks really good that way. It just looks a lot cleaner to me, in my opinion, um, versus that. So I know this is the normal we normal see and then that's how I lace them right there so like I said go check out my video on how to uh, the cleanest way to lace the Jordan 12s and uh, you can see I've done a couple of them like that I got my taxis uh, laced up the same way and uh, let's see, I got my, my playoffs my old playoffs uh, you get a new pair of these um, all right everybody well that's it JR Sneaker Show. Everybody, thank you. God bless you. And I'm out.